hello guys welcome to my youtube channel if this is the first time you are tuning into my channel you are highly welcome and if you are a returning viewer i want to say a very big thank you to you all and shout out to you all that share my videos i really appreciate if i don't even know how to say thanks to you all for sharing my video i really 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 appreciate so today without wasting much time charlie let's talk about you know the greatness a nigerian has achieved now before we talk, before we go into that let's 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 talk about something first you see when you see someone that is doing better than you when you see someone that is doing better than you you try to learn from that person don't try to compete with that person a wise man will try to learn from that person and not compete with the person for instance you are in a class where they are teaching you guys mathematics and your friend your neighbor he knows these mathematics very very well you don't just you don't just come and start you know you know start trying to compete with him when you you know for a truth that you don't really know mathematics very well what you're going to do is to ask this guy to teach you so that you will learn and it will improve make you improve and you'll be better instead of competing you understand so this nigerian guy has achieved greatness yet again but this this is not the first time he's doing this this is the second time this nigerian guy is doing what no ghanaian has ever done since the ghana got east or high, high independence sorry this Nigerian has achieved what no Ghanaian has achieved since Ghana got high independence. Hmm. Ghana will not achieve this thing only if they do the things I'm going to discuss in this video. You understand? So if Ghana doesn't do this, Ghana people, they don't do this, then they are not going to achieve this, not even in 100 years to come. This is just the real truth. They say that the truth is big, the, the, the truth tests like cola nuts. I love Ghana so much. Ghana is like a second country, second home to me. You understand? I'm not here to say. I just, I just I'm just telling you guys the truth. I do. So now, who is this Nigerian guy that achieved something that no Ghanaian has ever achieved? A Nigerian that has achieved something great, no Ghanaian has ever achieved. Charlie, this person is nobody else but. Hmm, let me not mention his name. Now, this guy that's achieved something that Ghanaians have not achieved you know when this guy started he said i'm going to make it he had a dream you know he had a dream and he didn't give up he worked he worked so hard until he, he achieved this he's the first african to even achieve this the first african you understand that's why you as a Ghanaian watching me you as a nigerian watching me don't give up you have a dream don't don't it doesn't matter the background you're coming from as long as you have a dream work hard to achieve that dream some people will say i did not go to school because my family money no day but charlie trust me i've seen people that went to school even when the background they come out from nothing day anything you want to achieve in life you can do it some of the people that are big real estate moguls today they didn't have money to buy land they only had a dream so guys Bona boy is the person i'm talking about yes olua bona damini ogulu that's his real name olua bona bona boy he sold out a show in the united in london eighty thousand a stadium eighty thousand people attended eighty thousand capacity charlie i'm going to put the, put the pictures here if you see the people Coming out when the people are coming out of the stadium, Charlie, it'd be like sand. There we are plenty. There we are plenty. This is not the first time he's doing this. He did this last year too. An African single, like a solo African artist headlining a show in the UK. No Ghana artists have ever done that. And I'm gonna tell you why no Ghanaian artists have been able to achieve this feat. Now Bonaboy's show, the person that opened that show is Sabinus, a Nigerian popular comedian. 
you see nigerians like to carry we like to carry ourselves we like to carry we like to bring out our hands and help others helping hands supporting we support ourselves well well sabinus performed in the in that show now Olua Bona, he didn't mind me being a big artist so let me not bring other artists he brought omale he brought shale poppy he brought Udumudu Black. He brought his very good friend, Fino, another artist, to perform. To perform there. Now, if it was to be a Ghanaian, he wouldn't want to give other most more, you know, other artists, hey, let me do my thing. Oh, let me do my thing. Ghana people, what Ghana musicians, what they do in Ghana, beef, 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 beef. Oh, Shatawa, eh, eh, let me don't mention names. Okay, this me, I be from this, I be from this fan base. Oh, you two, you from this fan base. Oh, so, because I be are from this fan base, I'm not going to support you. They are not, they don't, they just, you know, no support in the Ghana music industry. No support. They don't work together like a team. That's the difference between Nigerian musicians and Ghanaian musicians. Nigerian musicians, they work together. They see themselves like family. But it's a different thing in Ghana. In Ghana, they don't work together. And aside, aside working together. Now, the Ghanaians will argue that the reason Nigerians are good are better. Yeah, the reason Nigerians are doing well in music is because of our population. Now, this is not in Nigeria. This show, this show is in London. And a lot, a, lot, a lot of, you know, people from London, a lot. You see a whole lot of white people vibing to Bonner Boy's song. She, uh, Sheyi Vibes was also there. So, Ghanaians, it's not about our population in Nigeria. No, we are just good. We are just good. Give it to us that we are good. You understand? Promote your music. Don't just release a song and then you release only in Ghana. You understand promote yourselves work together work as a team in ghana and then you'll see where your music is going to go to so that's it tell me in the comment section which ghana artist you are rooting for that you feel is going to fill such stadium in the uk uh, you know very soon you know when medical field the 2000 indigo o2 like charlie yeah he tried but it'd be 2000 you know be you know you understand me like and he was he was zero, you understand? But Charlie, Nigerians they feed up eighty thousand capacity. Charlie, you no know be small thing. You no know be small thing. Imagine Charlie Poppy was there, like younger younger artists. But if you be Ghana Ghana person, wouldn't give show one big artist for Ghana. He only he go like the made him talk about I'm old. Make other people no benefit. You know be so Charlie. So thank you guys for watching this video, and see you guys in the next video. Bye for now.